Hey YouTube, Apple iDev here again with my second tutorial in my Mac um, programming series. Um, uh, you can see on this tutorial I've actually moved back to my MacBook display. Um, the larger display just isn't necessary for the stuff we're doing now. Once we get into more advanced stuff where we need more screen real estate, I will uh, move back to the bigger display. But for now I'm just going to use my MacBook display, it's a little easier. Um, so with that, let's get started. Uh, this tutorial is going to going to show you guys how to use buttons um, and how to implement actions caused by buttons to change text and colors and stuff like that. Um, the next tutorial will be basically just more advanced work with buttons, but for now we're just going to start with some basic button work. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to come uh, here into our interface builder document. We're going to come here into our interface builder document, like I said. Um, and with that, we're going to come over here. We're going to drag several things on. First, we are going to come up to the top, and we're going to drag on a couple of push buttons. And then we're actually going to go back to down to where we were before and drag on a label. Now, we'll call this one button2. And we'll call this one button one. And this is one of the really nice things about Xcode is that it includes um, Interface Builder. And Interface Builder is a nice, easy to use, drag and drop, very user friendly way to build your interfaces and very easily link it to your uh, code. So the next thing we're going to do with Interface Builder is we're going to take this label here, we're going to position it in the center. We're going to drag out the handles on either side, just to make it uh, wide, give us plenty of room here. And drag it so we see that it is centered. And with that label, we're going to come over here to... Uh, yes, we're going to drag that back down a bit. And we're going to make it centered text, and we're going to increase the size. We'll make it a 24. Now this is a bug with Xcode uh, 4.3.2. But uh, that it'll hide part of the label, but if you just double click it and then hit enter, it'll show it all again. Not a problem. At the beginning, when the app launches, we're going to want to create some placeholder text, so we'll just say click a button. Um, now that we've done that, our interface is actually done being built, but we need to link our interface to our actual code. So, we're going to actually create five links here. Sorry, five links here, even though um, we actually only have three objects on the screen. So here we're going to come up here to, instead of our .m, we're going to go to our header file. And first we're going to drag, we're going to control click and drag from that label into our header file. And you see this nifty little window comes up, we'll leave it as an outlet. And we're just going to call this my text. In here, we'll leave the storage as weak. We'll click connect, and there you go. Just like that, we have another. We have a property built. Um, we're now going to build an action and a property for button one. Um. Actually, sorry. Now we only need to. We actually, now that I think about it, for what we're doing, we don't need to create an outlet. We're just going to create an action. So we're going to create an action, and we're just going to call it button one. And. with button 1. We will also do the same thing with button 2. We're going to change this to an action, and we'll just simply call it button 2. Alright, now that we've done that, we have our three new uh, properties and actions and whatnot. Now what we're going to do is we're going to come back up here, go to the standard editor, and we're going to just save that quick. So our interface uh, builder document is saved, and we're going to go over here to our implementation file. And you can see something really nifty is that Xcode actually gener it actually synthesizes your properties for you, and it creates methods for your actions that you create. So we're going to do uh, really just uh, four lines of code here. This stuff is pretty basic. Um, so first, we're going to go into button one, and this is what we're going to do. We're going to uh, do two things when each button is clicked. We're going to change the background color and we are going to uh, change that label in the middle of the screen. So, the first thing that's going to happen is we're going to need to change the label. So we're going to type underscore my text, which is the label that Xcode, which is the instance variable name that Xcode gave it. We're going to say underscore my text dot 
um, string value equals square bracket ns string string with format at quote you've clicked button one and so that's uh, going to change the string and the second thing we need to do is we need to change the background color in the window so now we're going to type underscore window dot background color really creative method names here or I guess instance variables thank you Apple we're going to do an equals square bracket ns color and we're just going to make the button one we'll say we'll make that blue color and we're going to do a square bracket square bracket and a semicolon and the nifty thing here is because we're doing the same thing with different colors and words for button two we're literally just going to copy those two lines of code come down here hit enter and paste them in all we're going to do is we're going to change this to uh, we'll make it red color and we're just going to just so you can see a clear difference in the text we're going to say button 2 has been clicked. And that's really all there is to it. Now we'll zoom back out here. And we're going to save that uh, implementation file. And really, that is actually it. Um, you don't need to do anything in here in this uh, application did finish launching method. Um, those four lines of code are really the only code we needed. Now we're going to click run and make sure it works like it's supposed to. So, and you can see the build succeeded, so it's a good first sign. You can see it comes up how it's supposed to with the click button label. And if we click button one, it says you've clicked button one, and the background turns blue like we told it to. And if you click button two, the same thing happens, and uh, the label changes the way we want it, and the background becomes red. So, as you can see, it's pretty simple to just jump right into Objective C. Everything's pretty intuitive, and. Um, you know, it's very easy to start creating actions for buttons. So this is the first part. In the next one, we're going to talk about how to create button shortcuts with uh, your keyboard, and we're going to talk about how to um, and we're going to talk about how to show and hide windows based on when buttons are clicked. So this tutorial has been a little shorter, but I hope it's been helpful in starting uh, developing on the Mac. And uh, please subscribe. Thanks, and I'll see you a little bit later.